Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be building a temporary uh, desktop top that you could use when you're just traveling abroad or like, I don't know, for a temporary uh, workspace. Since I'm going to build a standing desk soon for my uh, room room kind of thing, so up to the, up to the delivery kind of thing, I'm just going to use a temporary uh, desk. So I just, so let me just show you what I'm currently working with. So this is a desk from Ikea. I think it's like probably like 30 pound altogether since it's like a 15 pound worktop plus like five pounds legs each, I believe. I'm not sure, it's just a standard leg without anything underneath. And it's just a simple, simple white tabletop. So yeah, so I'm just gonna have like a monitor uh, and like other stuff that you would have on a desk or work desk. Uh, kind of environment. Hopefully that makes sense and let's start the build. One eternity later. So first I'm going to start by installing like a power socket uh, or like a extension cable that comes along to connect to these things. So the idea is that I'm going to uh, use this and attach it to the bottom of the table like that. So from the extent from the wall plug it will just be a single cable that's going to the uh, desk and everything else will be connected to this thing. So yeah, that's the plan. So let me just start by flipping the table upside down. So I know that like the monitor stand will be on this side. So I know this has to be facing it's easy if it's facing this way. I don't know if you can see. And I know I'm gonna put it around the middle. I think since it won't interfere with any of the clamps that will be on the edges or on the surrounding of the table. Uh, so to mark this I'm just going to use a masking tape as well as a pen since it's easier. So the way I'm going to do it is just flip it the other way around and I know the holes for the button to hang is here so I'm just going to put a masking tape set that hole or on top of that hole so I don't have to use a magic tape or something to like measure it out then I'm just gonna put a mark through where the hole is so here it is so as you can see I just put the so the holes are here and here there and I just put a masking tape along this uh was it this socket and put the hole in where the hole will go that will just peel this mask tape off and stick it on the middle of that table then just put a, a was it, screw through there then I can just hook it up rather than this is an easy and simple trick that you could apply so I know it's going to be this way around say around here since it doesn't matter that much if it's centered or not but it's around there let me just make the mark clearer so I have to get confused so you just need two screws for this. I'm just gonna use this one. So this is a five by twenty-five mil screw. So I'm just gonna use these two screws, which is uh, five millimeter in diameter, then twenty-five millimeter in length, which should be enough. So I don't get through the wood. So yeah, just pull it like that. Don't put it all the way since we need to leave some gap uh, for. The plug to hook to the screw. This should fit perfect. So now that's done. I can just flip the table uh, the right way around. If you <laughs> think about it. So now the power socket is installed underneath the table, which is here. Uh, connect the wire. I know this wire is too long, but can't be asked. So I'll just connect it there. So that would just be one cable coming from the wall socket to the table and this is where everything will get the uh, power. Now let's start by building the monitor uh, to the table since that's the main centerpiece right. So let me just unbox. So first we need the clamp for the monitors. Yeah so these are the clamps or the arms for the monitor so the monitor will sit on this thing. Okay, but before that I need a clamp for the table. So the idea is that I'm gonna use these three screws to screw like the pole that will attach 
this to to the clamp, which will be the like the center pole, where the arm of the monitor thing will extend from. So you know these uh, three holes here. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Yeah. So and this is the unscrew this clamp thing, and the screw will go underneath and connect it to the pole. This pole here. So if you can see, you, know, you can see the three holes there, and it will stick together like that. So that's the plan. Let me do that now. Yeah. Then now one is attached, I could align it. And you put the other screw in. So I don't know if you can see. Then, yeah, now it's aligned and I can just screw it in. I'm just gonna use my fingers to screw it in. So it doesn't fall off, then I'll use the Allen key to tighten it up. Ooh. Well, why do I have butter fingers today? <laughs> now let me just put the last screw in here using this allen key here to tighten it up. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't wobble when you fit into the thing and also remember this is like the main frame so everything will be attached to this pole so this pole has to be solid. Now let's just clamp this to the table. Right. So yeah, it doesn't leave any marks. We could do these things as cushioning to the table, to the wood and the metal frame, so it doesn't scratch the wood or damage it. Now I just need to tighten this up. Make sure it's tight. Like don't overdo it so it would damage the thing but here we go and let's attach uh, this thing to the monitor then basically the hole here goes to that main pole there and we can just slide it in and tighten it up with the allen key here so let's do that for now uh, i will use the bed as cushioning for the monitors the monitor is a 27 inch uh monitor i think is a uh, 1440p resolution so it is good enough since I don't think 4k actually matters that much with uh, for a 27 inch uh, monitor the idea is that this wall will just fits in here like that. so this thing attaches here and there should be a thumb screw where I just screw it with uh, my fingers so it will be these four thumb screws since we don't want to use an actual screwdriver to damage that and the thumb uh, screwing should be enough to hold it since it's not that heavy but i will still tighten it with your fingers not what like like yeah don't just leave it loose just tightening up everything so that nothing is loose later on so yeah this is the joint there we go when it comes to this pole the idea is that it will be on this side the monitor will be on this side and the laptop will be on that side so the laptop will be on that side monitor will be on this side so that's the plan so this is the tray for the laptop thing that's the arm so we'll just hook to that and the laptop uh, will sit on this tray and the monitor will be on that side and hopefully i could fit a printer in further down the table but to see if you have space hopefully i don't drop this oh i should put the tray in first right yeah, I think I should put the tray in first. So let's build the tray now. So the way it does is, because this is already pre-built, I'm just reusing what we had before. So it's nothing from scratch, I'm just taking it apart and just reassembling it. So like when you buy this, you need to attach all of these arms. So that's why everything just seems like quick and easy since it's already pre-built, I'm just took apart for uh, to frame the box for now. And I'm just assembling it again. So here it is, here's the tray. So that's how it sits, like, like that, in an angle or not, unless when it's flat. And I should tighten it here with the Allen key. Yeah, make sure this is tight since a heavy laptop will be sitting on this and all the weight will be supported on this arm. So yeah, so make sure you tighten that up. And here now you can adjust it, adjust the tray. You can tilt the angle as well and make sure this is at the bottom so the weight doesn't, so the lap doesn't slip and just uh, sits on this thing here. 
now we could attach the monitor to that side and it should be fine everything should fit perfectly uh, here is the plug for the monitor I want to attach these things these are like cable management for the actual uh, was it the stand uh, the table stand or like the monitor stand because you could just put the wire through here like this hole and it would just stick there rather than just fall on the table so it looks like it's floating nothing here is the oh uh, was USB C to USB C cable to connect to the laptop directly so we just need to wire this from the monitor here to this stand here so this clip just goes on like that the, the wire thing will just run through here the bottom thing so let me just clip that this is full clips this clips on easy as well so you don't have to worry too much about it and this thing goes around here so you can just put the wire through here just run it through the middle so if the main socket will just go down here and to the bottom uh, power socket so we can just run that now if you want so this is the power adapter for the monitor so I will plug this in through here like that then I can just put the run through run this through the cable management a clip that was given by the stand as well and then this across here and it's perfectly line then I can just plug it in at the back that's done also here's the USB to connect to the thing as well so let me just do that now then just running across this is a clip so it's so much it's so easy rather than a zip tie and thing and then here would just be a wire in this end oh can you see here we go that's the wire and it would just be on this stand you see there so now the power for the monitor is connected as well as the uh, connection between the laptop and the thing so now i just need to connect the mouse and a keyboard but my so here's the mouse that i'll be using i'm using it use a wired one since it's easier if i just plug the usb to the monitor it doesn't matter what other laptop i connect it just automatically connects rather than what a bluetooth thing i'm just gonna tie some excess wires as well and so i don't want too much too much wire to interfere with the workflow wait before i continue with the other stuff let me uh, unbox the playstation 5 as well that will just sit here on the side so it's easier so i'm just gonna unbox the ps5 as well that would be on the temporary table for now since you need some downtime while you're working I already made like a in-depth review of the PlayStation 5 and the unboxing up here, I believe. So you can just check it out, just click on the card. But this is a quick one. So I'm not gonna explain in detail. I'm just gonna unbox it and just fit it in. Well this is the base, I forgot this. I haven't I bought this but I haven't played on it for like since I got it since it's been released because I've just been busy and didn't take it to uni or anything so here it is so the question is where in the test should I should I put it face lying flat down here or horizontally or vertically on the sides so the question is like this on the side or like that at the bottom Bottom doesn't take as much space, but I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it could work out. Okay, that doesn't take space, so it's better when you're talking about space efficiency and stuff. Well, let me actually put the base on it. See. Yeah, so it should just be like that, which isn't bad. It's not that bad and it's not the worst thing in the world but I don't know if I prefer it but I think it has to do right since I don't want it to be too close to the edge and if you actually knock it over then <laughs> it's end to the end so I was like nah so now let me just attach the power to the PlayStation 5 
the HDMI cable from the thing. What is it from the PS5? That thing. And this is just the charger for the controller, so I could just leave that here for now. And let me just put that back. And this is a 2.1 HDMI, so it should 120 hertz refresh rates, but my monitor doesn't support it. So no use. I'm also running this to the uh, whether the cable management thing as well. So it's, it's just a lot nicer. So I'm just going to be using my actual keyboard. Doesn't it should be black, but it's not here. So I'm just going to put this keyboard and this mouse pad. I'm um, annoyed at the PlayStation. I want it to be in black so you can match the theme and the table's white. But what can you do? Uh, so here's the mouse thing. And here's the keyboard for now, temporary keyboard. I don't want to use it. I'll just keep it on the side since I'll just use the my, uh, my laptop's keyboard or something. Now it's just time for extra decoration, should we say? <laughs> so here's like a squash ball that you can just play around with. And it's like if you know the veteran is energy trading company, it's not sponsored, but it's like if like F1, you might know. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that here just to play around with. Was it? And I have these lights as well, flips you light just to like add some sort of lighting to the environment so I'm gonna just put it around here kind of thing. I have three so I'm just gonna work that out and I will show you the end result because it's just boring stuff from now on so it's just decoration and there's no point of it so here's the end result enjoy. One eternity later. This is what it looks like after it's done. It's pretty nice though. Think about it, like the mood lighting is so good. It makes the uh, makes so much of a different like just the reflection, the light bounces from the wall from that side, which is sick. So the mood light is caused by this Philip Hub thing that's just pointing towards the curtain and one is just pointing to the sky. So that's why it creates this purple effect on the curtain. So it's really nice. What do I have on my desk? So first is my headphone, it's the Sony uh, over here headphone, what things like there. I can't remember what it's called, it's like WHOM5 or M4, I can't remember this is the newest one. And here is like a daily planner thing, which is really useful. Because I don't like the one on the phone where you just like have to write it. Like I prefer writing it down, so you just write down what the top priority is and like to do uh, for the Pacific day. Then you just get it over with, you just take it once it's done. This is easy, I just prefer it having a hard copy rather than a soft copy. So let me just put that. Back. And as you know, uh, PlayStation 5, two controllers, as well as the PlayStation console here, then a mouse. I have to get a keyboard. Well, the keyboard is on like delivery, like it's on transport, so it still hasn't arrived yet. It's but it's been ordered. It's the Razer keyboard, I can't remember what it's called. And the laptop will sit here with the USB C attachment, which will connect to the monitor here. And it has a printer over there, which is, can't be asked, a printer with the papers underneath. For any extra papers. Now this is a try connecting my MacBook to the thing. Oh, let me open this. Like the wallpaper is so nice. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so beautiful. Like I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person it looks so good. So let me just move that over. Move this over and put this on the thing. I don't know how much the uh, new the 16 inch MacBook weighs, but the stand handles it pretty well. Like, look at that. And let me just connect this. And if I turn the monitor on, here's the grand reveal. Let's stay here and watch the thing. Wow, look at that. Like, this wallpaper is so sick. <laughs> I don't know what you guys say, but here it is. But yeah, other than that, this is the temporary setup for now. So it's just a bed and a desk. That's it for now. But yeah, other than that, there isn't much. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.